Hello, dear founder. Today would be absolutely another and new format for me. We will create on a practice some automatization like MVP for a startup. I believe that this idea could bring you $12,000 per month if you implement this on your local market. And let's see how it work and what we will create. So uh, the main idea is uh, next. I am naturally from Ukraine, you probably know. Uh, imagine that we have a market of all Ukrainian citizens. It's around 40 million, according to Wikipedia. We will create astrology bot. Yes, I know, people not so often believe in astrology. Uh, but in Ukraine it's become a trend, and I would say that if even 1% of these people believe in such stuff, we anyway will have 400,000 people. If this 400,000 only 1% of them will buy our service via three bucks per month, we will receive $12,000. So it's an hour goal. And how we want to reach it? Of course, we are using AI because AI everywhere. Yes, we will create AI bot for a personalized astrology forecast for today. How it's work generally. So uh, I will build it with the N8N. It's a technology for uh, creating automatization between different tools and we will here use only third-party tools without any code. Yes, during uh, five hours that I have been creating such bot, uh, no one computer has suffered from these hands. Uh, so yeah, my hands is clear enough. How we will make this? Firstly, we will use Telegram. And this is our main interface uh, where users can uh, cooperate with our bot. As you can see, there are the two different workflows. First one for a schedule. Uh, we will need it a little bit later. It's, uh, it would be executed each day for forecast. And this is our workflow for onboard users to collect his data uh, and then execute it. Uh, so how it works? Firstly, a user write to us a message. In our scenario, it would be like this. Uh, firstly, we need to write a start. Let's actually test it how it works. So I want to test my workflow. Uh, firstly, I need to deactivate it and stop it because it will now send in another way. So yeah, uh, I deactivate um, workflow uh, for a current job for every day. And right now we will test this stuff. As you can see, firstly, we need to send uh, something. So right now Telegram waiting for a trigger event. And this trigger event for us would be slash start. Uh, we can receive a message. In this message, uh, yeah, on Ukrainian language, obviously, uh, we receive greetings. And uh, for receiving our first forecast, we need user date because Telegram doesn't provide user dates very often. And actually, in the future, you will understand why we need this. Uh, and there's next stuff. So first, we we receive from a Telegram uh, such JSON. You can see this one, and yeah, it's my nickname. <laughs> Uh, so you need uh, this data to collect um, in next to in MongoDB. And why we need this validator? So if it's, uh, you can see here, there's if or else. And we write here a rejects for a date. So if date match some format, it's uh, going to the true site and going to this, we'll uh, investigate it later. And if it's false, it's going in other direction. In this direction, we again uh, have this like a trigger. If it's a start or if there is something other. So if it's uh, belong to start that we just mentioned, it will go with this path. And if it's false, we can write, for example, exception that, uh, sorry, this command does not exist. Please write another one. Right now, there's only two commands available. First one, it's a for a start bot. And second one for a creating um, and implementing an assignment user born date. So if it's true, it's going to MongoDB and uh, MongoDB trying to find user according to his Telegram ID. If it exists, it's sending the message that, hey, you already exist, um, let's move forward. If it doesn't, it uh, sends a message, hey, we successfully created you, and it insert data inside your MongoDB database. Generally, why we need uh, database here? Because if we want to create forecast and send it each day, each day we need to store data somewhere. And this data, it should be stored 
in MongoDB. We can use also SQL or other stuff, but I prefer Mongo. So after it's insert, it says this message. So you have been successfully created. And right now it requests a born date. Let's write it. So my born date is 27th of December, 1995. I made this, execute this. As you can see, it's in progress. Right now it's work with uh, OpenAI and I will receive right now my forecast for today. And the most important fact, so how it's going? Um, meanwhile, it's execution. Oh, you see? So yes, it's on Ukrainian, but it says that uh, Pluto in my horoscope, Mars, Venus, and the Sechera, so different stuff. stuff. It recommend me for today be more romantic. <laughs> okay, so it's it's quite funny, really. How is going? So first, as you remember, here's trigger. We wrote date in a true format, so it's going through this direction. Then it format this uh, date according to MongoDB uh, requirements. Then it uh, find some uh, user and uh, this user Oh, wait, why we generally need to find this user? Because we need to attach this date to a collection that we created here. That's why we made some modifications with the data. In the end, we receive a user that uh, have not only collection and Telegram chat ID that is a core for finding users, but also we right now can attach his date because he already wrote his. And uh, based on this, we are writing his first forecast for today and immediately send him to the Telegram. Here I can I used uh, OpenAI chat model. You can use another stuff, doesn't matter. And with the memory, you can also assign chat ID. That's it. And uh, right now let's discuss uh, what is going on with the daily forecasts. It's going with and starting with this trigger. So uh, what is this trigger? It's a cron job traditionally. It's execute each day in uh, 10 a.m. And what is going on? Firstly, we need uh, to have what date is today. And there you can see we make some again modification of a data to receive date that we have today. After this, we finding in a MongoDB all collections that already exist. I mean, we need to see the all users. There is a list. Let's actually try this. I will activate this and deactivate it so you can see the data structure by yourself. So yeah, and I will stop it because it will notify all users. So you can see that uh, here we receive such uh, data about what's going on today. And here we can find all users that already exist in our bot. Uh, we needed to create for loop event. So uh, each collection that we have, we are saying, please, AI GPT format for this user, his individual forecast and send to his telegram. And when it's executed, start with the another one. So you can see that it's going loop here, then here, here, here. Also, you use memory buffer as a chat, um, as a telegram ID for a better recognition. So it's a memory. After this, after this loop executed, we can create something for admins. For example, hey guys, um, seven users already uh, have been working uh, with uh, your. Um, like bot and they received successfully your forecast so everything working fine uh, for example but the main idea is that each user will have uh, based on this uh, on their data that they already felt and that's stored in our database they will receive their individual forecast for today and it's happened each day absolutely for free without registration. And regarding quantization, as I mentioned, we can right now connect Stripe account. I unfortunately don't have it uh, yet because there is need a lot of verification and etc. But generally you can see that there's a lot of APIs so you can also and triggers so you can also add some monetization. This monetization will be done via Stripe and also you can add functionality of a cancel subscription and start monetize your auditory. Then you just need invest to the traffics. I believe it could be Facebook or Instagram. I don't know where astro where people who believe in astrology live. Maybe in some astrology publics or applications. Uh, don't know yet. Uh, we will discuss it with my friend a little bit later. But the main idea is that you can release the same application for your market, or if you want to create something closer to this, but for in another industry, please write in a comment below, and I will create it and describe uh, the architecture and plans on this YouTube channel.
Uh, that's it. Hope this video brought you some innovation, innovative ideas about uh, this amazing N8N application. And as I mentioned, this is a very beautiful stuff because right now you don't need to take in mind how to deploy, how to debug this, how to store data. You just uh, like playing as a constructor Lego. You just uh, connect a few different parts. And the most beautiful stuff that there's uh, you can use even external API. So if uh, there is uh, some like missing and actually there's a very important part in the MongoDB there's a lot of limitations so if you don't uh, or can't um, create it in uh, this way because there's very simple functionality and I use a lot of crutches you can see here here and here that uh, could be created in much more efficient way but I am a little bit lazy to be honest and uh, for now I just wanted to test is this uh, will work well and bring some attention and feedback from auditory uh, but uh, main idea is that you can create even write even your program code here inside this project and also manipulate with some data so uh, this uh, technology works really well it's really strong and uh, you right now can be very fast when you want to test some software for your business and additionally if you need some help with um, automatization business processes inside your company feel free to reach me out i will be happy to jump on the call and discuss your project link in the comments below it was your trustable chief executive officer we'll see you